Hawaii Pomona, and that, that's kind of interesting too. Um, I had these thoughts about, um, kind of otherworldly thoughts, as many do when they're young, and you're, these have a lot to do with what you want to do, what you want to become. The problem is that they haven't necessarily made the correct vocations for that. <laughs> So a school like Pomona is terrific. And my mother liked Pomona. She was, her, her uncle was uh, Luther Burbank, and she liked Pomona because it had the fewest students per gardener. <laughs> <laughs> you raise a, a, a point um, that I pondered at times, uh, and you, you, you kind of wonder, you know, what, what were you thinking back then? And, and I know what I was thinking uh, as an undergraduate for most of the time. Uh, I regarded myself as an audience here, uh, and I figured that Pomona College was putting on shows for my benefit. Uh, apparently, I missed the, the jazz festival. <laughs> <laughs> but after the fact, and uh, a year or two or so um, through grad school and beyond, uh, it occurred to me uh, what was really going on, and that is that Pomona let you do things then. Uh, independent exercises in, in flagrant initiative. Uh, uh, I, I think the place cultivated extravagant thought, uh, which resulted sometimes in spectacle uh, and expanded experience through personal endeavor and, and such, uh, sometimes sophomorically indulgent as well. Uh, but nonetheless in, informative. And uh, I, I think that's the essence of the experience as, as I understand it.